Welcome back. I am here with Bob Blue Hart, and he's from Fort Concho. And we're going to be talking a little bit about the Christmas event you guys have coming up. We're going to be on. talking a lot about the Christmas yes. event. Yes. So I, you know, as you know, I'm still kind of new here. Mm -hmm. So tell me what can be expected for this awesome event that you have coming up. Well, let's let's answer with some questions. Do you like to eat? I love to eat. Okay. you got four food trailers at the eastern end of the parade ground serving all sorts of things that um, the calories don't count when you eat away from home. Do you like kettle corn? Yeah. Do you like old-fashioned root beer? Okay, yes. We put those trailers side by side, very strategic, so you can munch on one and slake your thirst on the other. How about pancakes? Do you like pancakes? Yes, love pancakes. Saturday morning in the stables, the annual Lions Club pancake breakfast with Santa. Do you like Santa? Yeah, of Do you course. Do you have a wish list? Don't we all? <laughs> well, then you can go have pancakes, listen to music and entertainment, uh, buy the combo ticket. That's the best bargain around. You get a couple of bucks off the admission. And uh, I think you could probably maybe pass for um, sitting on Santa's lap so you can ask for that new job or, you know, that house or whatever. Santa usually pays more attention to children under 12. Do um, you like music? Yeah. Three different places to listen to music. You can uh, listen to all sorts of um, acts in the Arc Light, which is in the Barracks One uh, Entertainment Hall. Uh, the chapel has the more traditional entertainment elements. And then, if you like old fashioned brass bands, we got two of those, actually, three uh, performing throughout the weekend. You like to shop? Yes. Okay, have you got all your Christmas shopping done? No. Well, then you need to come on out. We'll have 65 vendors in various buildings and some on the parade ground selling things you're just not going to find a lot in the area stores. No knock on local shopping, but we try to bring in unique and interesting things that folks can only find at the fort. Hmm. So are the events happening over a weekend? Yes, this okay. coming weekend, and uh, congratulations to the weather guy. He did a very good job. Uh, we're seeing wonderful sunshine and light breezes for the weekend, and that's the kind of weather we like. So no pressure now, but that's what we're expecting. Okay, so when is the earliest time I can get there? The earliest time would be 3 o'clock on Friday. It opens at 3 p.m. this coming Friday, and that's your tip for the day. If uh, your listeners are uh, maybe on the older side or have mobility issues or have younger children that are not in school and they don't like the hustle with the crowds, Friday afternoon is the time to come. Three to five o'clock, it's still the same show, mm -hmm. but it's a little quieter. We don't have as many people on the grounds. If you really want to see it going and blowing full bore, Saturday is your day. Everything's happening on Saturday. A little quieter on Sunday, but still the same show. So it just depends on what your tolerance is for crowds. We will pull about 13 to 15,000 people over the weekend. So, um, speaking of all the crowds and stuff, how does parking go? It isn't as bad as you would think. We have four lots surrounding the Ford on the north and the west side. Um, there's pretty much parking within a minute or two or three of the front door. There are six different ticket booths spread around the Ford. And here's your other tip for the day. The parking lot on the Flipper Street side, which is north of the Ford, that is usually uh, has a few spaces open because folks, uh, they can't see where they're exactly going. But if you park there and walk down Oak Street, it's an extra minute to the front door. Okay, so even on Saturday when you guys are going to be super, super busy, it's still... You're There's gonna... still parking in the area. You may need to walk a little extra, and we ask that you be respectful of our neighbors. Don't block any hydrants or driveways. Street parking is okay, but just don't block any one's private uh, driveways and of course leave those fire hydrants alone. Oh, right, in case of emergency. Correct. Well, thank you so much, Bob. You I really are welcome. I, I trust it. you're coming. Yes, good. definitely. I probably, well, why not Friday? Friday is a good day. Again, that's the quieter of the three days. Okay. Well, thank you so much and I oh, hope show to the see... Oh, quick, yeah, quick, there quick. we go. We got a t-shirt. The camera gets it. There we go. <laughs> On sale at the event and offices quarters one and people, I have no taste at all, so I'm saying this is handsome, but people tell me it is, so I guess it is. <laughs> I think it's lovely. All right, Bob. Well, thank you so much. Thank and you. now we are on to Pet of the Week.